June 2018, MCO Airport, Orlando, Florida. Your boy Jake Oman's a little bit panicky because it's 9 p.m. I just had a two hour flight delay from Indianapolis. The next day is supposed to start the most important week of my life. My WWE tryout at the Performance Center, Orlando, Florida. The tryout I'd worked 14 years to get. After I grab my bags, I finally meet up with a guy I'm supposed to share a car with. But he didn't exactly endear himself to me. First thing he says is he thought about leaving me because it took so long for us to meet up. As if he also didn't just have a flight delay. The second thing he tells me as we're getting into the car is this is actually his second WWE tryout. In fact, he had one a year or two before, got offered a contract. He turned it down because he was hoping to get drafted in the NFL. He thinks pro wrestling is dumb, but hey, since he didn't get drafted, he might as well take that fat paycheck. As we're going to the PC, people are waiting on us. We have physicals that need performed that night. He says, I need some food. I offer some protein bars for my back because after all, I want to go ahead and get checked in. I want to start off on the good foot, a good first impression. But my friend disagreed. Instead, we go take a detour into a McDonald's drive through where we're stuck for about 20 minutes, waiting on his $14 worth of food, his two Big Macs, his large chocolate shake. We show up to the performance center. We get our physicals the next day. We go ahead and check in 46 athletes, 16 of them professional wrestlers. Now, if you've seen these videos, you know how that went. But hey, at least guys like that, they don't have any bad habits. No bad habits they picked up from the independent circuit because that's all that matters. Thinking that passion is a part of the equation of the professional wrestling business is one of the reasons why pro wrestling is dead. 